the leading, remain the leading country in the world, we've got to make sure we have world-class infrastructure to match. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg in the Mid-South focusing on the fractured Interstate 40 bridge and how its closure is not only impacting the states of Arkansas and Tennessee, but other places across our region. Secretary Buttigieg getting a first-hand look at the I-40 bridge and the next steps in repairing it. Our Jay Burr joins us live from Memphis with how the Secretary's visit went today. Hi, Jay. Oh, well, good evening to you guys. As you mentioned, both officials from Arkansas and Tennessee have visited the I-40 bridge several times since it's been shut down about three weeks ago. But now the feds finally get a first-hand look as uh, Secretary Pete Buttigieg visited the bridge today. U.S. Secretary of Transportation Pete Buttigieg visited the I-40 bridge on Thursday and said this is an important stretch in the United States. This is something that impacts tens of thousands of people who count uh, on the ability to drive across the DeSoto Bridge every day. He said the federal government is reviewing Arkansas's policies and procedures to make sure something like this does not happen again with possibly a worse outcome. The Federal Highway Administration has uh, initiated a program assessment of the Arkansas Bridge program last week to make sure that the right programs and policies and, and people are in place. Now we got to make sure that the process, uh, we understand the process end to end and uh, can learn from that for the future. Local officials say this incident is a microcosm of the country's needs and the aging infrastructure in the U.S. needs to be addressed. Infrastructure plan has to be important for this country. This bridge being down behind us is true evidence that an infrastructure plan must be needed in Washington to help the people of the United States and especially here in Memphis, Tennessee. Buttigieg agreed and pressed that President Biden is working with Senate Republicans feverishly to get something done quickly. But it is long past time for those generations now in positions of responsibility to do our part. As the saying goes, the, the best time to do uh, uh, something like this is yesterday. The second best time is today. And that's why the president has such a sense of urgency around infrastructure policy in general in this country. Buttigieg grateful the crack was spotted before something worse happened, but does realize how detrimental it has been to the country and in the region. Of course, grateful and glad that this was detected without any loss of life, but that doesn't mean the closure hasn't been painful. Now, Tennessee transportation officials laying out a rough timeline of what the repairs will look like. Right now, they are expecting their materials that they need to make those repairs to be fabricated and delivered by the end of June. There is not yet any timeline or any set date on when the bridge could potentially reopen as repairs could be ongoing into August. But we will definitely keep you updated as those things do become more available and they have a timeline maybe a little more figured out. But for now, live in Memphis, Tennessee, Jay Burt, Fox 16 News. Thank you.